How you doing everyone and welcome to this video and this video is going to be a little bit different because we're going to be talking about gear and basically what's in my bag at the moment and yeah I've done a few things to the uh, studio at the moment we've got some smoke going on we're recording on a Canon 50mm 1.4 FD lens and yeah I, I guess this makes me a real filmmaker now you know anyway we're going to talk about what's in my bag because I often show little bits and pieces of gear and obviously stuff that we make and stuff that I review even though I haven't done a lot of reviews lately, I actually want to show you what I use on a day-to-day -day basis. You know that I'm going to be starting a new channel soon, and the new channel's not going to be about cameras and cinematography and stuff like that. It's going to be more about life and taking risks and um, just in general how to overcome problems in life and how and looking at uh, and things from a new perspective. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting that channel started. So this is the kind of thing what you can expect on that channel. And I also plan to spend a lot more time out on locations in various places talking about, you know, when I'm when I'm talking on the videos. But this is a camera channel, so let's talk about cameras. What's in my bag? Okay, so we're going to go through my bag and I'm going to show you everything what's in there. And this is kind of like my whole travel kit. And what you can see here is the PGY Tech One Go Air 25 litre backpack. And this is specifically built for cameras and camera gear and just for carrying around your gear and for quick access so yeah 25 litre backpack and you can see on the front here that we have all of these kind of nice little clips and stuff so obviously when you're hiking going through different terrains you can clip these all together around your body so that's yeah that's the pgy tech backpack here so i'm just going to open it now and to open it it's got like this little lever which we could just push down right on the end here so if I push that down, then it just releases the catch. And then you've got the two zips. And then when you open it, you have access to all of your gear right inside the case. Now, as you can see, I've got a pretty much full built out rig in here, a micro rig. Uh, it's got a lens, cage, handle, battery, monitor, everything's on there, wing grip, everything's on there so you can just fit right in. And I've also got a selection of lenses in here, which I'm going to show you in a second. These arms here, you can actually move these around so you can adjust them. Let me get that a little bit closer. You can adjust these and move them up and down depending on which kind of space you want. The rest of the inserts, the dividers, they are all Velcro, just like this one here. So you can kind of create whatever you, whatever you want here. And you can see the little plastic clips on that one there as well. That's what goes into these runners that along the edge here. It's also got a pouch compartment at the top here, which also comes with lots of extra little straps and stuff for your body. We've got a pocket on this side, and then we've got a quick release uh, pouch here as well. So with this one here, if you've got the camera over the side of your body, you can unzip this, and then you have quick access to you know your camera here or any other parts of lenses or stuff that you've got here, just quickly and easy to pull out. It's also got another pocket in the top here, which is where I store all of my batteries, SD cards and little bits and pieces. So I've currently got a NPF in there, a couple of um, uh, Canon LP6s. So yeah, very nice. And this little pouch here is like a locking pouch as well. So if I put this under the hole, under this little strap, pull it through, it means that no one can pull that when you're walking around. The back is nicely padded as well. So you've got this little section here as well so i guess that's good to give your back a little breathing space but nicely padded as well so it feels sturdy solid on your back so this is a very nice backpack and it's got this kind of material that kind of looks like waterproof so when any water or rain or whatever hits it it just runs off nicely and yeah just keep your gear nice and dry they also sent me another little gadget which is called the beetle clip and it's just a little tripod mount here like an arca swiss type thing which you put on your um camera and then this locks into the uh, into this little clip and it locks your camera down. Connect this to your strap. So if I just put this, if I bring the strap up and then just put this on, bring this over, put the lever around and then snap it on. And then you can see it's locked on. So it's an easier way for you to carry your camera around and yeah, just quickly take it off at a, at a quick notice. You can see this little lever here. That's the one you press to unlock it and pull it out. And it's also a locking lever as well. So if you turn it, that means it's in a lock position, which you can't, even if you press the um, button, it doesn't go down. And then if you unlock it, then you can press the button 
and it will release the camera. Right, so let's take out my gear and see what we've got in here. Lenses. So this is probably one of the best things I've bought. I really love this lens. It's an SLR Magic 12 millimeter Hyper Prime T1.6. And yeah, this is absolutely amazing. I bought this just to test it out and fell in love with it so much using it on a job. I actually went out and bought the whole set from SLR Magic. But I didn't buy the Hyper Primes. I actually bought the, um, the Cine Primes. So I've got a 35 millimeter here a 17 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 21 millimeter, and on the camera itself, I've got the 50 millimeter. So yeah, I completely fell in love with the SLR Magic and yeah, just ended up buying the whole set. And I've been using them, testing them out on different bits and pieces, different jobs, and they do really well. And yeah, I'll be showing you some more stuff. As soon as I get the Eclipse in, you're gonna see a lot more from these. In fact, you'll probably see a full review on these here because I absolutely love them. And yeah, if we just look at my rig now as well, I'm gonna break this down, not fully, but I'm just gonna break it down so you can see what I've got on here. So this is the little micro rig and we've got the small rig cage on here, the small rig wing grip. And I'll be going through this wing grip soon um, because we're I'm still trying to work out the logistics with small rig. And yeah, we've got some other parts coming out soon. So we're going to work this out and see which is the best way to uh, provide this to people. And yeah, so the wing grip sits on the top like that and connects at the bottom with two screws. And then we've got our uh, record button. So this triggers record. We've got a Nitsi handle on the top, which is connected to a um, NATO rail that's got a 15 millimeter rod on the side as well. So yeah, absolutely love this little little baby rig, man. It's so it's, it's so cool. Then, as you know, we've got the expansion pack. On the expansion pack at the moment, I've got the um, MPF plate with an MPF battery, and we've got the expansion plate and the mic holder. So to beef out your rig, you would just slide this on, and then we've got all of that extra power going on there and mounting holes. Monitor I'm using is the Viltrox DC550. Let me take off this case. And I absolutely love this monitor. I, you can see where it's got a few fingerprints on the screen. I'm not really a fan of touching the screen because it gets so grubby. I just don't really like it. So I really like that it's got this little jog dial here. And it's a very bright screen. I think 1200 nits. So yeah, really love this screen and it lasts long on one, one MPF. But that will just slot in to the cold shoe that I've got on the front of the Nitsi handle. And then I will just plug in the HDMI and that's pretty much my rig you know that is it it's just very simple very small lightweight rig now because I have cine lenses here and I don't have any internal NDs on the on the camera we built a little system called the rapid filter system and this is something that we're, we're looking at um, you know finishing off and designing properly so people can use it if they've got cine lenses which you can use a matte box on or something like that then this will be good for you. But we're also going to think of a way how to do this with step up rings to avoid the hassle of, you know, unscrewing and screwing or buying magnetic filters to, uh, sorry, magnetic adapters to go on each lens. So basically what this is, you just take it on, on the, in your hand and then you just slide it straight on to the camera. And then if you want to, if you change your lens and then you want to change it over, it's as easy as just pulling it off and then putting it onto a different a different uh lens and you know you might think this is weak or it, it might it might you know slide off when you're using it i'm telling you now even this this uh demo version is extremely strong so if i put it onto the uh onto the camera here and just hold that like that i'm not gripping it hard but you can see it holds on very well and then you can just you know change your nd strength so yeah very nice so that's it really that is my rig very simple So that's it, that's the gear which I'm currently using and I'm really, really enjoying it at the moment. Now that I've gone into more of a creative space and in a personal space and creating personal content, it feels good to not have people, you know, hanging over my shoulder, you know, doing what other people want you to do. And that allows me to, you know, use the cameras that which I want to use. I know I've always said over the last few years that I love this camera, I love that camera. And I really did love every single camera for a specific reason. 
And when you're working for clients, you do need to adapt. As an owner operator, if you're gonna get called at any moment, you do need to adapt. But when you're doing stuff for yourself, you, the world's your oyster. You can choose whatever you want to do. And I, and I really enjoy, you know, this this current movement of what's going on in people building their own cameras and all the, all the new amazing things that are happening in the camera world. And it's no longer exclusive to, you know, rich people or people that, you know, that are in the industry. It's open to all of us now. And just being able to go back and look at some of the older cameras which are doing amazing things like the Micro and the new Kodak which they brought out you know, whether people like it or not, it's amazing. We look at the digital Bolex, all of these cameras that just bring feeling and, you know, life into images. When I look back on video that was shot, you know, 30 years ago with me and my friends before life got us, you know, before life kicked us in the face, everyone was happy and, you know, you're chilling and you remember those moments. You remember that time you was in that room with all of your friends just laughing and joking. and. And that was just on a VHS. So what we have now is is going to be good enough for many years to come for us to look back when we're really old and grey for our children and our grandchildren and, and even future generations to look back on and just see what we was up to, what we were doing. And yeah, I've, I just think it's an exciting prospect. Video doesn't have to be about professional, you know, money and hierarchy all the time. It can be a very personal thing as well. So thank you for watching, guys. Take care and I will see you on the next one later.